It is one of the newer trends in the plastic surgery world. We are talking about body contouring, and I'm here at Columbus Aesthetic and Plastic Surgery, the Easton office with Dr. Timothy Trees. So thanks for having me, Dr. Trees. It's nice to be here, Robin. We are going to talk about this body contouring because I feel like it's something that we've all kind of heard about lately, but what is it? Well, body contouring for we plastic surgeons, especially those of us who've been here a while, means a lot of different things. It can be anything from reshaping the body after massive weight loss to something as simple as a non-invasive cool sculpt type procedure in the office. So when I talk about body contouring, what I'm talking about is changing the shape of the body. And there are a lot of ways to do it from surgery to liposuction to non-invasive me measures. So does it depend on what kind of situation your body is in? You talk about people who have major weight loss, they may need something a little bit more invasive, right? Absolutely, and the major weight loss patients, one of my favorite people to see because they've made positive changes for their world, they've lost weight, they feel better about themselves, they're vibrant, but the skin just didn't listen. So there's extra skin and it needs to be contoured, changed, shaped, so that although their bodies are not so big, they don't have the extra tissue hanging around. So we do procedures for those people most commonly, a form of abdominoplasty. Uh, often we'll also do breast lift and often we'll do tightening of the arms or thighs. And those are all sort of technically body contouring procedures. More commonly though, when you look at procedures that plastic surgeons do, the two most common are breast augmentation and liposuction. And liposuction is a body contouring procedure where we're taking an area that's a little bit too big in one spot or maybe not quite big enough in another and taking some out of one and maybe putting it in another. Uh, for example, adding fat to the buttock when it was on the lateral thigh is a common procedure to give a little roundness to the bottom. So these are all components of body contouring that we employ every day. So that people may recognize as a fat grafting, right? When you take it from an area and you're putting it towards another, that's still considered body contouring. Absolutely, we're changing the shape of people's bodies to try to have them be as happy about themselves as we can. Do you want somebody to be in their ideal weight before they decide to undergo a treatment like that? In a perfect world, yes. Um, I, and I, I often see patients and I partner with them to get on a weight loss program, see a nutritionist, see a fitness specialist as a component of what I might do. And I use the, the term, I, I'm gonna dangle the carrot of what I can do for you after you've had a few months to work as well uh, on yourself. So I think working together is really important because we need to sort of reset the barometer of our behavior and not use all the techniques that I have as a Band-Aid to get a permanent result. Now you see in your office, obviously the real life before and afters, right? You see these folks when they come in, you see them after. We see photos of them and they're just dramatic. What kind of reaction do you get from people who've undergone a, a body contour and, and a transformation really? You know, it's really fun. That's the best part of my job is when you take someone who's made great changes for themselves and you take care of some part of them that they could never do themselves with anything else. And so, uh, the unveiling is a really fun thing. And um, let's say, for example, you were 350 pounds, you got down to 200, and you had this apron of skin. And to have someone have that gone and take their dressing down, and for the first time they can fit in blue jeans that are store-bought, regular, not custom-made, is really transforming for them. And it's a, it's a pleasure to help people with that. And we know it is very important to see a board a certified plastic surgeon like yourself because these things are major surgery for some people, right? They really are and you've seen the popularity of shows such as Botched for example um, and those of us who do plastic surgery and are board certified see a lot of patients who weren't quite maybe as careful as they should have been to pick their practitioner. You need a board certified surgeon. The techniques are very safe in the proper hands it, the cost differential is nominal to nothing. So do your research online. Look at, look at how people get uh, uh, reviewed online. You talk to your family doctor about who they would go to. Uh, but that's probably the single most important thing is 
go into someone that's trusted and that's been in your community for a little while um, and listen to them. Okay, and you can always start at Columbus Aesthetic and Plastic Surgery, of course. So thank you, Dr. Therese, for the education today. Thanks, Robin.